You don't have to be an alcoholic to have a problem with alcohol. I am talking about the subject again because it is, it is a subject that is frequently, frequently misunderstood. And a lot of people don't understand this concept. People think that before they have to even get, before they consider getting to the point of cutting back on alcohol, quitting alcohol completely, or just examining your behavior in relationship to alcohol, everybody has this weird assumption in their heads that they don't have to think of alcohol as a problem in their lives until they get to that point where they're a alcoholic. Now, I believe strongly that this term is severely outdated and addiction is a spectrum and the term alcoholic, if I were to use it, I would reserve it for the very, very high end people. That is, you are drinking every day, all day. You wake up in the morning, you have a drink, you're drinking until you go to bed at night. If you stop drinking, you will go into withdrawals, you will have seizures. And that to me would be someone who is worthy. I guess, I guess we'll say worthy. That would be an alcoholic in my book. But that being said, that is a very, very, very small amount of people. And if you're one of those people, I'm sorry, I'm praying for you. It can get better. You probably need to go to rehab. But for everybody else, this video is for you. Guys, 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 99.99% of people do not fall into this category. 99.99% of people who are at a place in their life where they are questioning their relationship to alcohol, where they're debating cutting back, where they're debating quitting completely, do not fall into the category of being an alcoholic. You do not have to be at that far end of the spectrum before you decide to benefit your life, before you decide to move your life in a better direction. Because guys, let's be real. At the end of the day, alcohol is a toxic substance. It's glamorized in the movies. It's a lot of fun when you do it because it releases that instant dopamine. But the more you do it, the more unhappier you become and the more you start to realize that you can get the same dopamine and joy from doing other things, going out for walks, the gym, sunlight, eating good nutrition, taking care of yourself, working on your positive mindset, your mental habits, your mental fitness, meditating. Guys, there are so many things you can do that make you honestly happier than a drink ever made me. But the thing is, those things require work. Those things are lifestyle changes. Those are the things that last. That's the key word, last, because the happiness of alcohol doesn't last, especially in my situation. I got to this point where it's drinking stopped being fun, you know? And for me, it was fun for a long time. And then it just got to this point where it would just honestly make me miserable. Like, I might be a little happy when I would drink my first drink, second drink third drink, but then ultimately I would spiral, I would make poor decisions, I would fall back into these depressive spells, mood swings. I never really felt happy most of the time. My baseline joy was always like here. If I drank, maybe it'd be here for a little bit and then it dropped back down to nothing. Um, and, and that was for me what forced me to just like examine my relationship to alcohol because prior to that point, I was of the mind where I'm like, I'm not an alcoholic. I don't have to drink all day every day. I don't have a problem. But in reality, two things. One, no one can say you have a problem besides yourself. So I will say, yeah, I had a little bit of a problem with my drinking. Uh, I will consider myself a problem drinker. But that's because I made the decision that I was at this place to where alcohol was no longer serving me. And when I tried to quit, it was actually pretty damn hard because when, when I tried to quit, that's when I realized how ingrained alcohol was into my lifestyle, guys. Wine was on the grocery list. Um, going out with friends, there was always drinking involved. Even going to the movies, there's alcohol. Like every little thing I did involved alcohol. And it had become like a coping mechanism for me as well. Like if I wanted to go out and socialize and like try to flirt with women, liquid courage, alcohol. If I wanted to just hang out with friends, have a good time, alcohol. If I was stressed because of work, get off a 12 hour shift, alcohol. Like there was literally every reason in the book to have a cocktail and have a drink. But what it ended up doing to me is it kind of kept me stuck in this just rhythm of like, hey, I'm kind of just drinking all the time and I'm kind of feeling no joy and I'm not really feeling happy. And I'm just like, damn, did, did alcohol really catch up to me? And do I need to quit? But then I was worried because like I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not an alcoholic. I can go 
a week without drinking. I can go a month without drinking. I'm not having physical withdrawal symptoms. And that for me lasted that weird phase of just like lying to myself and just being like, oh, I'm not that far gone. I don't have to quit. That kept me drinking probably another like two years, I would say. Probably age of 28 to 30. I was like in this weird little transition period where I was like kind of in denial and also really wanted to quit alcohol because I could see how negative it was affecting me, guys. My health was feeling was dog shit. Like I was having all these weird aches and pains. I was always tired, always fatigued. I was always sad. I was always depressed. I was having pains in my side. Um, anxiety through the freaking roof. I was like worried about every little thing. Random things were making me nervous. I was having palpitations. Sometimes I'd feel like I was having a heart attack. Sometimes I'd feel like I was going to pass out because my anxiety was through the roof. And then what I would do to cope with that anxiety is I would have a cocktail. I would drink. I'd go to the bar. And then I would feel better. And then I would just honestly reinforce the negative patterns in my head. Like, oh, maybe I, I just need alcohol. Maybe now alcohol is good for me. But guys, you don't have to let it go to that point. Like I'm saying, 99.99% of people who are debating making a positive life choice in their life to quit drinking, cut back on drinking. Do not fall into the category of being a quote unquote alcoholic. And honestly, I don't even like using that term because there are so many reasons to quit drinking. Your anxiety will get better. Your sleep will get infinitely better. Fun fact, if you have one glass of wine, that is enough to ruin your REM sleep for an entire night, which means you do not actually go into the deep, restful sleep that your body needs. You do pass out. Alcohol is an anesthetic. It will help you pass out, but you don't actually get quality rest. So it's not actually true legitimate sleep. I didn't know this back when I was an avid drinker. No wonder I was always tired and depressed and having anxiety and mood swings and all this weird stuff. Because like I wasn't getting any kind of good sleep because I was having cocktails most nights of the week. Um, sleep will get better. Your anxiety will get so much better, guys. Like I was just at this point in my life where I thought, like, OK, I have anxiety now. Things make me nervous. I'm, I'm like worried. I'm not chill like I used to be. No, my, my brain was just inflamed from booze. Like you will get that dopamine release, but alcohol is a poison. Your liver has to detoxify that substance out of your body. That causes inflammation. Inflammation in your gut causes anxiety in your brain. There's so many studies and research about this. And who's to say what's causing what? The point being is that alcohol has a lot of side effects that people don't think about. Not only is it addictive, um, it really does mess with your gut, your microbiome in your gut. That causes other things to start messing up. Your brain, your anxiety, your nervousness levels, your depression, your, your sleep. Like It got to the point to where the more I educated myself, the more I realized going out for a night on the town and having a dopamine spike and a little buzz was not worth the trade-off the trade-off being that i was i was literally miserable most every other time like if there wasn't alcohol involved i was feeling miserable and if i would drink that would just keep me feeling miserable like i said anxiety or sleep your health will get so much better if you quit drinking trust me i was 30 i was feeling tired i wasn't going to the gym anymore i was feeling run down i was a regular drinker and i was just like damn Am I just slowing down at age 30? No, no, hell no. It's been over two years since my last drink, guys. I feel younger now at age 32 going on 33 than I did when I was 28. I feel younger now than I did when I was 28. I, I worked out the last seven days, guys, to put things into perspective. <laughs> like I went out drinking with my friends the other night. I personally wasn't drinking. They were drinking. My friend's 34th birthday. I still hang out with them when they go out and they drink and they party. And you know what? I left at like 11, made it to bed, woke up, hit the gym. And I was done by my workout by 11 while they're waking up and they're hungover. They don't want to do anything. Cause I'm like texting them like, Hey, y'all want to go play spike ball? Y'all want to go hang out? Y'all want to go watch a movie? And then just like responding with like, uh, uh, in bed, not leaving my bed in bed. Not like it just made, it just reinforced in my head. Like, why did I do that to myself? Why did I spend all those days hungover? Sometimes it would be two days hungover. All those wasted days for one night of pleasure, it's, it's not worth it. Because now, like, every day is just a damn good day. It's like, I can't believe I was that delusional. I Because I really was. Like, now it's so obvious to me. Because, like, I have moments like this all the time where it's just like, wow. I woke, got great sleep. I woke up. 
I went to the gym. I was done with my workout before my friends even woke up. And they just didn't really have the capacity to even do things during the day. Like I wanted to go out and play some spike ball. I wanted to go out and watch a movie. I wanted to do stuff. I'm cleaning the house. I'm taking care of myself. I'm working on my YouTube channel. I'm so damn productive now. And that just did not happen. It did not happen when I was a drinker. So guys, productivity levels went through the roof. Um, clarity, guys. I've touched on this so many times, guys. Like not only does the sleep get better, the anxiety goes away, your energy levels and overall health feels better because at the end of the day, alcohol is a toxin. It's a healthy lifestyle and life choice to not have alcohol in your life or to very rarely drink. People don't get this, especially like in like the modern areas, you know, like uptown Dallas or like the trendy areas in the cities where all the 20s, 30 year olds with jobs are just going out and getting smashed at the bar every night. Like what? Like when did we let ourselves get so delusional like that? That's the thing we want to do. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just speaking for me. Just speaking for me. Um, But yeah, dudes, anxiety, sleep, health, energy levels. Clarity, guys. Clarity. Um, gosh, dudes. Clarity. When I was a drinker, I was frequently a person who wanted more for his life, but did not have the clarity of mind on how to navigate life to get the things that I wanted out of life. Um, nor did I have the energy to pursue more things like this YouTube channel, you know, working on me, going to the gym, figuring out what what's my ideal life that I want. Like I had no clarity of that when I was living for the weekend, when I could go out and just go out and get smashed during the weekend. I was stuck. I was stuck. I was going out. I was getting stimulated. I was having dopamine and I was feeling good temporarily, but ultimately in the long run, I was feeling miserable because one, I didn't have any clarity of who I was and where I was going. And two, I just, I wasn't growing. I was kind of stagnant. I was working a job and living for the weekend. And I was like, I guess this is life. I guess it's as good as things get, but it's not, it's actually a lie. Cause when I quit drinking guys, one, I clarity, I got a whole lot more clarity. There were no wasted days hung over. My mind became more resolute. My anxiety improved, my sleep improved. I started actually coming up with ideas and implementing plans on trying to build up my life. And I'm actually working on it right now. I actually feel like I am making progress towards building up the kind of life I want to live. And this wasn't happening to me when I was indulging. It just, it just wasn't. But not only do I feel that clarity, and I know who I am. I know my core values. I know who I stand for. There's no more drunken, poor decisions. There's no more messing up my life. There's no more ruining friendships and relationships or self-sabotaging my life from alcohol. That, that that all happened to me. You know, we write it off like, hey, I just went out and I got drunk. <laughs> it is what it is. But no, no, I am way more of a man than that. I don't need an excuse to act poorly, even if it is a substance. Like, that's just not me. And that was something I, I was incongruent with me because, like, I hated not being congruent with my core values not having a clear plan for my life, not knowing who I wanted to be or where I was going. And I got all of that when I let go of the booze. When I quit drinking, clarity came, time came, peace of mind came, happiness came. Like my happiness was right like this low when I was a drinker. Maybe I get a little spike here and there from drinking. But after I quit, after a few months, like I kind of just went up and up and up. And now I feel like I'm here. Like almost every single day, I am here. Like it's it's like ridiculous. Like I can't really say anything more clear than that. Like I am just like happy all the time. My mindset is usually good. Sure, I have sad days sometimes, but it's never anything I can't handle. Like it's just it's normal sadness. Sometimes I get a little blue. It's normal blue, but I always snap back. I get back to my routine. I get back to working out. I get back to positive mental health. Something I like to tell myself. I am actively engaged in the process of retraining my mind. And I just believe things will work out for me now. Like, I believe in the journey. I believe in my dreams. I believe I am on the right path to becoming the man I want to be and impacting the world the way I want to impact the world. And that is deep, guys, because when you have growth in your life, growth is positively correlated to happiness. And when I was drinking, I wasn't growing. I was stagnant. I was living for the weekend. I was having these enjoyable experiences. And honestly, towards the end, they really weren't even that enjoyable. Like, they were enjoyable for a little bit, but towards the end, 
not enjoyable at all for me. But since I let that go, like I'm getting real organic joy and growth from knowing that I'm growing, from knowing that I am on the path, from knowing that I am putting down little pebbles, putting down little bricks, working towards building that house. And that is a good feeling. And that is a feeling that alcohol was robbing me of. Like when I was living for the moment, like I didn't have that. I had just this little temporary happiness that was that was fleeting because it was easy to get. It was one drink, a little happiness, and gone. And whenever something's that easy to get, guys, it is going to be fleeting and it is going to be temporary. And you can't stay drunk forever. <laughs> like, And if you do, then, you know, alcoholic or whatever we call it. Um, yeah, but the thing, guys, like, when you quit drinking, it just opens up the door for so many positive lifestyle choices. Like, I'm in the gym now all the time, I'm meditating all the time, I'm working on my mindset, listening to healthy, good podcasts, almost like food for my soul and my mind, and it's just kept me in this perpetually good mood of, of just growth and positivity, and like, why would I ever even want to give that up? Like, I didn't have this when I was drinking. <sighs> Dude, I, I'm just happy. And I know this started off as a you don't have to be an alcoholic to quit video. But I kind of transitioned into talking about my life, my story, and all the things that got better when I quit alcohol. But anyways, trying to tie this back to what I was talking about is, guys, I wasn't an alcoholic when I quit drinking. I was someone who had a questionable relationship with alcohol. I was someone who started to observe the negative impacts this substance was having on me i was someone who questioned hey is is this really the life i want to live and the point i'm trying to make is i wasn't an alcoholic when i quit drinking sure i'll admit i had a drinking problem or a problem with drinking but that was more tied into the fact that it was affected me so negatively on so many different levels and 99.9 percent .9 of you guys out there if you're watching this video, you're probably questioning your relationship to alcohol. You're probably questioning your relationship to drinking. You're probably wondering if this is a good lifestyle choice you want to have anymore. And honestly, I'm challenging you. Like, try it out for yourself, guys. Take a little break. You don't have to commit to lifetime sobriety. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm committed to a lifetime sobriety. I always tell myself, oh, I'll rethink it next year or next year. But, you know, next year comes, next year comes. And the longer I go without alcohol, the less I even want to, like, touch it. Like I go out and I look at a drink and I'm like, I'm almost disgusted now. And I used to be a person who loved alcohol. It was like a core part of like my personality, my being. I'm like, yeah, let's go get drunk. Let's go get smashed. Let's take some shots. I was that guy. I was totally that guy. And now I'm just like, I go to the bar. I'm like, how would I even do that? Like, it's it's so weird how much I've changed. But like, I've become a person. I'm just like, no, that's, that's not for me. So guys, if you were questioning your relationship to alcohol, Take comfort in knowing that you don't have to be an alcoholic to have a problem with drinking. And you don't even have to call it a problem. Call it whatever you want. I call it a problem because it was a little problematic for me. But it doesn't have to be a problem for you to choose to stop because there are so many benefits of not having alcohol in your life that you don't have to wait for it to be a problem. You don't have to wait to be an alcoholic. You don't have to wait until... You are so deep in addiction and the substance to quit because there's so much to gain from quitting. And the earlier you quit, to me, the better. Like, I know I'm just talking to someone who's gone through the arc of like alcohol and addiction or whatever you want to call it, but I'm just making this video for you guys out there who are like on, on that fine line and just like wondering, like thinking about your behavior and your relationship to alcohol because guys, there are so many good reasons to quit. So many, so many. And life for me, it's gotten so much better since I cut alcohol out. Because I was, I was at a low point, guys. I was literally at this low point where I'm like, is this really life? Is this all there is? And honestly, like, <laughs> I was in a dark place. I was in a dark place. I've been telling you guys that I'm going to share my sobriety story one day. And, and I will. Um, but I think the point I'm trying to make is... Things have gotten so much better since I've walked away from alcohol, and I don't ever want to go back to it. So I hope this inspires some of you out there who are wondering about alcohol, your relationship to alcohol, deciding whether or not you want to quit. Because, guys, the benefits of quitting, 
they, they're just so good. They're so damn good. And I, I just can't stop talking about them because I'm just happy and I'm grateful every single day that I, like, I have my life back. I have joy back. I have all the good feelings back and I feel like I'm growing and I have a positive attitude now and I feel like things are going to work out for me and whatever I want, I can get it as long as I just put the work in. And it's just, it's a good place to be. And I want that for you guys too. And if you want what I have, then you try it, try it for yourself guys. And I'm not saying this is like a cocky way if you want what I have, but you know, I work for this guys and it was hard at first because it's, it's so normal to drink, but I'm proud of myself for staying on this road and walking away and not looking back. And now like I can see all the good is done for me and I'm just trying to inspire you guys. So I hope this inspires some of you guys. I love you. Smash the like button, leave a like, comment, subscribe, the usual business. I will see you guys on the next one. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way.